Uh, ha, ha. Oh my god, guys, I massively screwed up. Well, isn't this just great? So, I uh, after the last Winnipeg Jets franchise mode episode, I uh, went off screen, I saved the file, I went off screen, and I decided to sim through the offseason, sim through the draft, sim through the resign phase, and make it to free agency just to see if someone by the name of Jonathan Tavares made it to free agency, which he did. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I was looking for that to happen and not realizing what I did, I exited or I saved and exited and I also deleted the file before uh, I uh, I actually or I well, yeah when I saved and exited I also deleted the file before thinking I did not save and exit and thinking I exited without saving which so which I was going to delete the file that I exited without saving because sometimes it or for some reason it still comes up so uh, yeah I have completely gone through the draft the resign phase and we are now at free agency which is very very unfortunate i did not plan on doing that i did not want to do that either so you guys literally aren't going to see anything uh throughout basically this entire off season which i'm very upset about because uh, i actually hate my life the only way i could do this again as if uh, I restart the whole series, basically, and come back. I know we're only one season in, but uh, everything would be different, and I don't want to do that. What if we could either like we could not even make the playoffs. We could win the Stanley Cup. I I don't know. Like, anything could happen. So I am extremely extremely sorry about that. My bad, guys. Uh, I cannot believe I did that. I didn't even make my draft picks. So I have no idea who we picked this year. I believe, okay, wait, the only person I picked was Jet Wu. That was the only person I picked. We drafted him 18th overall. We didn't move up. We didn't move down. Uh, that was the pick that we were given. He is a medium top four defenseman, 17 years old, 55 overall. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to sign him or not, but we'll figure that out later. So yeah, he was the one player that I did draft. Uh, other than that, I do not know who has been drafted this year, uh, but we'll see. So 2018, we drafted Radam Salda, a medium AHL top two defenseman uh, in the seventh round. Also, Evan Stevenson, a medium AHL top six forward, 17 years old in the sixth round. Jet Wu, obviously, in the first round. Um, and moving on, uh, David Berundin, medium 7th defenseman, 18 years old, 3rd round. Then Leon Gowanke, or Gowanke, I know I drafted him as well. I just really liked his name, and he's German as well, so that's why I went for him. 5th uh, round from him is when we drafted him. He doesn't look like he could be that good, but you never know. Uh, then Vic Addison as well, a 17-year-old medium bottom 6 forward we drafted in the 2nd round. I did not actually draft him. The uh, Sim did. And, no, oh, okay, that is not it. Uh, Vyacheslav, 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 you know what, Vyacheslav, <laughs> Vyacheslav Korolev, that is going to be his name, Vyacheslav, probably just going to have to go with Korolev, a defensive defenseman, low top 6D, we drafted him in the fourth round, you never know, he could maybe turn out to be something Obviously, we'll have to wait quite a while to see. And I think what is the last pick was Gabriel Fortier, uh, a high AHL top six, 18 years old, fifth round draft pick. So I am very sorry about that. The only ones that actually, or the only one that really does look good is Jet Wu, because obviously that is the only one I picked. So uh, yeah, more than likely... I'm not going to have very many prospects, unfortunately. I did not mean to do that, and I'm very gutted that I did do that. I am... Oh, my. Blake Wheeler's down to an 84. What the fuck? Why? Is he that mad? Was he that mad about ice time? Nope. Why? I haven't complained about ice time since the start of the season. 
Well, all right. Well, we're going to have to go through some things as well. So let's see. Uh, let's see. Where? So I don't even know what I did. I don't even remember what I did, man. Uh, this is going to be quite something. So let's see. Let's sort of by overall. So I got rid of Brian Little. Uh, yeah, he was our second line slash third line center, and I got rid of him. So now we only have three centers. Uh, well, maybe two. Two or three for the NHL. Left wingers, uh, not looking too good. We have Perot, Connor, and Buma as of right now. Right wingers, line A, Ehlers, Wheeler, Armia, maybe Patan, maybe Dano. Dano went down a lot too. He was an 80 overall as well. So, uh, yeah, defensemen. I believe, oh yeah, we got rid of our bottom two, which we, which means we're going to have to get someone else that's pretty decent. Maybe we'll keep Kulikov uh, to play there, but someone else will probably have to, or we'll probably have to sign. Uh, I had to sign a contract to Truba and Morrissey. So Truba got $5.3 million over three years. Morrissey got 3.375 over three years. I think that is it for defensemen. If we go back to forwards... I had to sign Nikolai Ehlers, 5.1 for three years. Uh, Matthew Perot, I don't remember if I signed him or not, or if that's his actual contract. I honest, honestly I don't remember. Uh, Adam Lowry, 2.25 for two years. I believe I signed him. Joel Armia as well. I believe I signed him, 2.150 for two years. Uh, I'm not. I honestly have no idea. Lance Boom, I know I re-signed as well. To be honest, I do not remember. And in goal... Not going to be changing at all. Steve Mason and Connor Hellebuck more than likely will still be our goalie tandem in this upcoming draft, or in this upcoming season, not draft. So uh, I think we have reviewed everything now, guys. And really, I guess it's just time for free agencies. Ashley, let's go back to the team. I do want to look at the team uh, for the sole reason of do I sign John Tavares? Which, I mean, it could happen. We'll wait, though. Forward. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So our top 12 is our bottom 9, really, are looking too good right now. So what I would do, what would I do? I am not sure. We have a first liner of Mark Shifley, a first liner of Patrick Line, a first liner of Nikolai Ehlers, a first liner of Blake Wheeler, and if we sign Jonathan Tavares, who is also a first liner, I don't know what I am going to do. I I'm hope I mean, it seems to be in this game. Like if you actually don't give them enough ice time, they will complain, uh, depending on what their role is. So Blake Wheeler, I'm not sure. You never know. This could be his last season as the Winnipeg Jets captain. We'll have to wait and see. But uh, I think what I'm gonna do, I think I will sign. Uh, John Tavares. So we'll have Tavares on the top line with line A and Wheeler. On the second line, we will have Shifley, uh, Ehlers, Perot, or Connor. I am not sure. We will figure that out once we make it to the season. Uh, our Overall, though, our depth chart is not looking too hot, to be honest with you guys. Uh, this could be quite something. And we need to sign at least one defenseman as well. So let's go to free agency. Let's see what's up. So John Tavares wants six years at $8.5 million. Now, I mean, I really don't want to sign him to that. I'm really tempted to just cheese him. But I don't know. Okay, wait. Let's go by forwards first. Is there any potential forwards I would look to sign? Uh, Shahan, no. Sure, no. Wilson, no. Mersh, no. Is there anybody that looks decent? Uh, nope. I was going to say Godin, but nope. He is already 21 years old at 64 overall, which is not good. Is there any potential defensemen out here? Uh, Kale McCarr, oh yeah, dudes. I forgot to tell you that. For some reason, since uh, Kale McCarr was our I apparently he just wasn't assigned to uh, Colorado like he was supposed to be so it's basically a free defenseman for us which I am going to sign him 
Actually, he may not sign with us. You never know. Uh, how about I go one year just to make sure he does sign with us. We'll give him a lot more money. Actually, you know what? No, we'll just go two years. Well, he wants a two-way deal, but for three years he wants $1.2 million. That's just not going to happen. You know what? We'll just give him more money than what he wants for one year or for two years, I guess. No, I don't know. We'll try this. 0 0.925 at one year. How about we try that? Uh, sure. Offer contract to Kale McCarr. Derek Forbort, Simone Depre, more than likely one of the defensemen we will sign. I did release Depre, but we could bring him back. Chara, we could uh, bring in. I don't know about that. Calvin DeHaan, Nick Holden. Uh, who is this? Uh, Robbie Russo, yeah. 75 overall, though. I no, don't know how I feel about that. Uh, TVR, maybe not bad of an option. Uh, he is definitely more of a defensive defenseman. You can throw the body around, too, if needed. Uh, Kevin Gravel or Gravel? Uh, I don't know. I feel like I would like some defensive depth on the third pair, so I don't know what I'm going to do about that. So Kale McCarr, we will definitely sign. Hopefully he does sign with us. Is there any uh, potential goalies out here? Low starter in Grubauer, but I'm not going to sign him. All right, let's go back to forwards. What are we going to do about John Tavares? Should we go, should we cheese him and go 33? I'll have him at an 8.6, probably an $8.7 million deal, which is very expensive. Or I could cheese him at one year, give him $10 million at one year, and then we will just re-sign him at the end of this season. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't I don't really want to do that. I don't really feel the cheese factor coming in right now. I mean, it could go seven years, but that's 34 years old. I think I'd rather do 33 because uh, I feel like 34 just sounds so much older than 33, to be honest. So 8.75, six years for John Tavares. I'm just thinking, is that what I want to do, or do I want to go more? Do I want to go 8.8? .8? I feel like 8.8 .8 is just a better contract for him. $8.8 .8 million, six years for John Tavares, or Tavares, however you want to say it. Offer contract, oh man. <laughs> Oh, that could, that could be scary. Also, Paul Stasny, James Neal, O'Brien Little, obviously. Jonathan Marchesso, Marchesso, Riley Nash. Uh, wait, no, that's Rick Nash. There's no way that's Riley Nash. I was going to say 82. No way, that's Riley Nash. Yannick Hansen, Patrick Maroon, Michael Grabner, Mike Camilleri. Uh, all right, well, we just spent 8.8 .8 on Tavares. And let's just go to people that we have approached, uh, all skaters. So we gave Makar 925 and 8.84 uh, for Tavares. I'm just going to calculate this, and we're going to see what is the total cap that I just added to the team if they both do sign. So 8.8 .8 million plus 925K equals nine million seven hundred and twenty five thousand dollars that means we have under two mil in cap space which to sign a de decent defenseman that is not a lot of cap um we're gonna have to sort it by overall here boys we're gonna see who needs or who wants a an expensive deal that's decent it would probably have to be Stewart, Angland, or Davidson, to be honest, which isn't that great. I mean, we could bring Mark Stewart back to uh, the Winnipeg Jets, defensive defenseman. He's got pretty decent defensive stats. Derek Angland, just been released from the uh, Vegas Golden Knights. I do like the physical category more out of Angland, but he could take a lot of penalties. How many penalties did he take this year? Only 47 penalty minutes. I mean, that's not too bad. But with uh, 63 discipline, I don't know how I feel about that. Brandon Davidson, he's a two-way. 78 overall, he is younger, too. 
What about Brandon or Bra Brandon Brandon Davidson? Uh, I mean, he can throw the body around, but that's for sure. He's decently fast. He's definitely not that slow. Uh, I mean, his defensive stats aren't bad, really. Uh, let's. I'm gonna calculate another thing. So we've got eleven hundred or eleven million dollars in cap. If we minus what was the number nine seven two five, I believe. Uh, so yeah, we have one point nine two five in cap space. So Brandon Davidson, uh, three years at nine twenty five, I guess, or at nineteen twenty five, I guess. You know, no, we'll just give him what he wants. You know, we'll cheap him. We'll cheap him a little bit. Brandon Davidson could come to the Winnipeg Jets as well, though we are very close to the cap hit now if these three players resign. And now it is a moment of truth. We'll have to advance a couple of days, but uh, it is time to see if the man, the myth, the legend, John Tavares, will come to the Winnipeg Jets. My God, could you imagine? I think that would make this team that one extra step I'd say we need to really go on a cup run. Uh, let's see, though. It could be the day. Kill McCarr rejected. Unfortunately, that really sucks, to be honest, because I know he has a lot of value, Brandon Davidson. Did accept, though, so, I mean, at least we have one defenseman. Again, though, still basically no prospects, which is not great. But uh, now, today is the day. The 6th of July could be the downfall of this season or could be the up-and-coming uh, great start, great, uh, or potentially great next season. So... John Tavares, will you sign with the Winnipeg Jets? Uh, he also went to New Jersey. I figured that was enough dollars. Well. Well, well, well. This series has really gone downhill extremely quickly. Um, now what? Now what? Jonathan Marcheseau is the only second liner now here. I'm not taking Mike Camilleri. Oh, well, this is great. Jonathan Marcheseau, how many goals did he have last year? I mean, he had 68 points, which is actually really good. Uh, I mean, I could bring him. For the second line. But I don't know. Oh man, this team is going to be something else then. I cannot believe New Jersey stole the two players I wanted most. Oh, New Jersey's going to be so good so soon. Oh my god. Uh, we're just going to have to look at their team really quickly. They have Corey Schneider and Nett. They have John Tavares, their new number one center, with left wing Taylor Hall, and then really Kyle Palmieri. So you look at how much value Kale McCarr has. Uh, I, I tried assigning him to Colorado. I literally said he was assigned to Colorado. Fuck. And then obviously they've got Nico Hish here as well. Damon Severson or Severson, he looks pretty decent for them. I don't know. Oh, this series. Oh, man. Oh, shit. What do we do? What do we do now? I don't know what the hell we're going to do. Like, if we, like, uh, this team is not going to be good. Uh, let's see. Where is everyone playing? Or where does everybody want to play? So we've got four first liners. We don't have a second liner. Perot, Lowry, Connor, and Armia are third liners. Patan, Dano, Cop, and Buma are depth slash fourth liners. So what we'd probably do is Shifley, Line, and we uh, Eiler, uh, Wheeler, Eilers, Wheelers, Wheelers. We're going to have both of them on the first line with Line and Shifley somehow. We'll figure it out. 
Uh, Perot more than likely will play the second line. Lowry, Connor, and Armia. I mean, Connor could play second line. Which Lowry would have to be the face-off man. Yep. Uh, so like we do Shifley, Line A, and Ehlers. Then Wheeler, Perot, and Lowry. Connor won't be able to play on that second line then. And wait, what are Perot's face-offs like? Oh yeah, Perot's playing center then. Lowry's playing third line. Connor gets to play second line. So Lowry, Armia, and Dano will play third line. Patan, Kopp, and Buma will play fourth line. Unless I decide to sign someone else in free agency to bring in for much needed depth which wouldn't be too bad I if that's for sure who it would be I have no idea it would have to be someone listed as a fourth liner well I mean they could be listed as a third liner but I'd rather just prefer I prefer a depth or fourth liner Tom Kunackle. Uh he's not very defensive though uh, he did have four points in the playoffs. He did have a career year as well. Now, I don't know where he was playing. He did have 15 goals, but, like, is that really what we want? Scott Wilson as well. Pittsburgh lost a few players this year. He's definitely better defensively. Ryan White, really good defensively. He has extremely good physical, or he has an extremely good physical category. Uh, not very good puck skills or shooting, though. David DeHarnay, really fast, not very great defensively. I feel like he'd be a really good penalty killer, like, in real life. I don't know. Who are we going to pick, boys? David Booth? His defensive categories aren't great. I mean, we could bring him in. Okay, so it's between Kunakel, White, Wilson and Booth. Lupul. <laughs> I'm not going to bring in Lupul, though. Wilson, White, Kunakel, or Booth. Now, I don't want anybody that can, that takes penalties that much. So Kunakel won't take penalties too much. DeHarnay won't, definitely won't pay, take penalties too much. Ryan White could definitely take some. 56 penalty minutes is quite a lot. Uh, Scott Wilson may take some penalties. Yeah, he had a career high in the penalty uh, area this year. David Booth. Um, I don't know. I, I'm kind of feeling more towards Kunakel. You know what? Offer contract to Tom Kunakel. Let's go one year at 1.6 million. And we'll sign him to a deal. Hopefully uh, that can be some added depth. And we'll have to figure out what happens from there. Advanced day, you'll probably sign in the first two or three days since offering him that contract. We'll see. Uh, Nomi's going to make us wait a little bit. Let's see, uh, now the 8th, come on, how about the ninth? Are you going to answer, Kunakel? Do you not want money, kid? Come on. Come on. Ugh. Advancing a day takes so long in this game, I don't know why it takes so long. It's literally advancing a day. So Kunakel accepts. All right, well, now, guys, it is time to sim to the next season so this should be a very interesting season we head to the 2018-2019 season without john Tavares. i do not want zach pagosian thank you though buffalo uh, i do not want dion Phaneuf either thank you again uh but for ottawa um and henrik sedin not giving up jack roslevic that is for sure uh, anybody else <laughs> uh, or any other team want to offer us another trade? More than likely Henrik Sedin for just a first. No. Uh, sorry. 
But, uh, yeah, no, I, I don't want one of the scenes. Maybe a deadline acquisition, but as of right now, don't want them. So, uh, Travis Hamanick, top four. Uh, huh. How do I feel about Travis Hamanick? His contract's not too bad. He is a defensive defenseman, though. And as you guys know, we need points. We needed points last year. So hopefully the coming of Brandon Davidson, he will give us more points. Uh, whether he will or not, I'm not sure. But uh, all right, guys, I think I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully you all did enjoy. And I am very sorry about the screw-up of the offseason. I am very, very gutted. That I managed that. I still honestly am really sad about it. I was really hoping we could have done everything. Because technically we haven't even done a draft yet. So, yeah. Now, captains and alternates. I don't think I'm going to change anything. Should still be Shifley an assistant. Wheeler captain and by Fuglin a assistant. So, uh, yeah, guys, that is going to be it from me. Thank you all so much for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.